Now, earlier this month, we presented our fourth annual John Reed Leadership Award. Actually, we did it late in December. We went to an area football coach that exemplifies the seven characteristics of the late John Reed, the longtime Coldwater football coach. And the presenter, former Michigan State standout Chris Norman, a linebacker that could have gone on to the NFL, but instead had a higher calling to enter ministry. Now, he'll be the speaker of the District 8 Fellowship of Christian Athletes banquet coming up this spring, and he learned a lot from one particular coach at Michigan State, his defensive back coach, Harlan Barnett. He allowed me to see uh, faith in coaching, faith in football, and how the two can really combine and come together. Um, he was very good at what he did. He was a very good coach, but at the same time, he was very intense. At the same time, he demanded excellence. At the same time, uh, he wanted his players to perform, and they did. Um, this year's John Reed Leadership Award winner is going to go to Matt Dudek uh, from Kitten High School. I've heard so many things about you. Um, I can personally say how much a coach really has an impact on the life of a young person. So me personally, I want to thank you for the sacrifices that you made for your students and the sacrifices that you made for your players because I know they all will be thankful for that in the future. Um, blessings to you and I hope that you continue to keep up the good work. Great stuff there. Some video from the Kenton Fellowship of Christian Athletes as we welcome in Matt Dudak. Here's the John Reed Leadership Award plaque. Congratulations on that. We, I told you about it before playoff game. I was doing the preview story at Kenton, and, and you said, wow, I didn't even know I was nominated. Just what does it mean to win this award, Matt? Uh, it's, it's, it's very humbling. Um, I, like I said, I didn't even know I was nominated. And when you came up and talked to me about it, I was like, shocked. I mean, I, 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 you, you were the... You, I didn't have the words to say. I, I, I didn't know I was nominated, and you know, it's, it's very humbling. It's not something I do on my own. It's a group effort on everyone that helps me, my family's part, and you know, it, it, it just means a lot that we're being recognized for the various things that we're doing in Kenton. Let's talk about your faith journey. You grew up in the church. I visited uh, the church you grew up in. How important was that? And just kind of take us through. Uh, growing up in church was very important to me. Um, my parents took me every week, every Sunday, every Wednesday, every, <laughs> every Sunday night. That's right, yeah. Was a, uh, was a, was a, was a church service. And so it was, it was very important to my uh, family's life, very important to my life, and it became ingrained into what, uh, what, what, where I am now in my faith and how I want to be a father and how I want to be the role model for students to hmm. look up to. You're very involved with Fellowship Christian Athletes. Uh, every Friday morning at 7 a.m., I know you guys are getting together. It's a great mm -hmm. meeting there. Why do you do it? Well, I do it because we didn't have an FCA when I was in high school. Huh. Um, when I got in college, I got involved with the FCA at, at Hillsdale and the Athletes in Action at Hillsdale, mm -hmm. and it was something that I wanted to bring to Kenton, and by the time I got back, they already had one. And so uh, Bryce Little was actually the one who started it up, and then when I started teaching, he said, you know, you're a teacher you're in the school. It'd be good if a teacher in the school with, who has um, contact with the students would uh, be able to run it. And so he gave me the reins and I, I've taken it from there. And you, we've had various people come in and help me out. Mm -hmm. And it's grown from a group that was six to 10. And now we have about 50 to 60 every week. Awesome. Do you, do you have a favorite memory from FCA, from coaching, something that sticks out uh, at this moment as you're getting recognized for the John Reed Leadership Award? Well, for FCA, it's just the amount that the group has grown. Um, we do d different things for charities, such as we do a cans for pancakes where we have kids bring in canned goods and pass out uh, those to a, a local place like a food pantry such as Neighborhood Opportunity Center awesome. or Helping Hands. We have the Glove and Hat Tree. Um, just watching the kids kind of come together and as a place to kind of worship together uh, has just been awesome. As far as coaching memory, the ride we've been on the past few years with the, with the, with the success we've had in the football field has, has been fun. A, a little disappointing, but it's been a lot of fun getting to where we're at and uh, just connecting with the kids in that way. Yeah, state final game a couple years ago, state semifinals this year. His head coach that was his head coach when he played, Mike Mock, and who he now coaches for, reflects on how Matt mirrors the life of Coach John Reed. I think the first thing you see right away is the love for the Lord, you know, a, a founding belief that, you know, your salvation, your eternity is the most significant, most important thing in your life. And then being able to live your life to please somebody that uh, you know, has done an awful lot for you. 
I think that's the way John Reed lived his life. You know, he was a person that spent a lot of time with people, uh, whether he was associated with it directly as a football team or in his program, but, you know, others that were involved in the sport of football and athletics in general. And, uh, you know, Matt Dudek's the same way. You know, he spends a lot of time with, with our kids, you know, uh, at school, before school, after school, and other activities. And he's just always there as a, a true mentor for young people. He exemplifies his relationship with Christ, uh, you know, inside and outside of school, in the classroom, uh, at church, in the community, on the football field. He's just one of those all-around great guys uh, that is the extension of the, the hands and feet of Jesus in the community. I remember when Matt Dudek was just a, a manager, a ball boy on our sidelines, came to all of our practices and grew up in our program, was around uh, all those guys when I was a younger coach just getting started and see him come into high school and have a great, tremendous career here as a, an athlete playing football and baseball for us. Um, you know, as a member of the 1998 uh, first undefeated WBL championship team we had, was a senior that year and did a great job. He actually grew up at the church I attend, attend and uh, he was actually one of the teens when I was a really young kid. And I got to see him throughout high school and how he lived his life, and it was a good experience. I remember going and watching him play football at Hillsdale and just the way he lived his life as a Christian. I attended his wedding, and I've just seen him become a great, mature Christian, and it's really he's a role model that I try and model myself after in my own Christian walk. Pretty special comments there. Colin Stoller tweeted me and said, Matt Barr was going to be the winner. You never know, 15 years from now. What's it mean to see a, a guy like Matt Barr grow up watching you and now have those words for you? Yeah, Ed, that means a lot. I mean, Matt is one of our FCA leaders, and he's just a great leader in the school. Um, if we could have 1,000 Matt Bars, the world would be a better place. It's just, it means a lot that you know, he looks up to me and that I've, I've made a positive impact in his life. One final word. Do you have anything to say to coaches out there? That, that, they're giving back to kids, maybe to encourage them. Football season's over. They're looking ahead to next year. Do you have a word for them? You know, just stick with it. Mm -hmm. um, keep Jesus at the center of everything. I know I got an email this week to answer some questions about the John Reed Award, and yeah. that, was the, that was my major thing was, you know, keep Jesus at the center mm -hmm. of everything. And I put in there, it may seem trivial, and it may seem that kind of redundant, but, you know, if Jesus is at the center of everything, everything else will fall into place. Awesome. Matt Dudek, our fourth John Reed Leadership Award winner. Very deserving. Congratulations, Matt. Thanks for coming in. And we will have a new winner next year.